Today's video, I'm going to show you one of the coolest things that I think you can do on defense in Madden 24, and it is known as the cross man concept. Now, we're going to apply this concept uh, to defending one of the better formations in Madden 24, which is the bunch strong offset. You could apply this to gun bunch. You could apply this to trips. I just want to show really the power of the cross man system and what we can do with this. Now, we're actually going to be doing this out of the cover four drop contain. I want to quickly just touch on abilities before we get into the actual setup. I'm in regs here. But if you were an ultimate team, really the main thing is just to have deep out zone KO on both of your outside corners. That is kind of what you want to do for a standard uh, cover four style of defense. And then, you know, at the user positions, obviously, if you don't have lurk artists, you want to be rocking safeties there. Otherwise, they will not uh, react to the, the ball uh, when it's thrown at them. And so you might be asking, you know, what is the cross man adjustment? I'll explain it. But what we're going to go coaching adjustments, auto flips off, base line is on. And then for this, I actually like zone coverage on default. I think the quarters play better on the outside if you have this on default. And we're going to be out in cover four drop contain. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar ebook, uh, that is going to be linked in the Patreon. It's uh, Patreon link is in the description for just $10. You get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, again, link is going to be down in the description below. So what is the cross man and really what is the purpose of cross man? What cross man does is it essentially allows you to play what I would call an inside outside bracket on a specific receiving threat. So let me explain what that might look like. So if we set our zones, um, let's, let's say we just cross manned this uh, defender onto the slot receiver, okay? What are some of the routes that the slot receiver might want to run? Well, some of the routes that the slot receiver might want to run is he might want to run a slot apprentice post out of this setup right here. So what this adjustment is going to do is he is going to cut that cross and now he's inside and he's running into an outside. So it allows it's it's an inside outside bracket on a route. Um, so essentially it kind of like and the whole purpose of why you would do this is because it's going to help um, bracket certain receiving threats and help make those throwing windows a little bit less likely to be open or at least they're going to be open for a lot less time. OK, so let's talk about what this would look like. Let's say if he ran a corner route. So let's say we're in a corner route to the right. How does this look against that? Same basic principle. And what you're going to see is by cross manning R1. Now I have inside leverage on him. Right. So when he cuts to the outside corner, I have the inside leverage on the route. And then the outside quarter has the outside leverage. So you see, we're able to pass the ball right through three people. It's man 24. But as you can see, like it creates an inside outside bracket on the route. Um, same kind of thing. Same kind of principle is true really of anyone that you cross man is typically you're cross manning to create inside leverage that you're then going to be able to do to use to drive on crossers, corners, or even slot apprentice posts. Okay. So how do we like to cross man? What I like to do when cross manning this year um, is I like to have a cloud to one side and a quarter to the other side. And it depends a little bit on what formation you're playing against. But essentially, typically wide side quarters are best and short side clouds are best. So in this example uh, that we're showing you right here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a solo side quarter with a shade outside underneath. The reason for this is just because there's not really a route that this solo wide receiver side guy can run other than a post route, which we'll cover in a minute, that can really take advantage of us. So that's important to understand. The other thing is you have to understand that when you man up your slot corners, if you're pressed, notice that they go over the top of the receiving threat. It's not always a bad thing that they do that, uh, but it is something you need to be aware of. So in this example, what I like to do is I actually like to take this, uh, this uh, slot corner and leave him on that hard flat. And then I've got a quarter to create a little bit of a zone bracket over there on the left side. Now on the right side, if you think about what are the route combos that people are going to want to run uh, to the right side. One of them is big corner, little corner. Another one is a running back wheel route. We have to th be thinking about that. Um, another one is the Durham combo that everybody likes to run. So essentially all of those different route combinations 
really mean that we don't need to man up the running back. It, it's really almost pointless to do that if, if we don't have a deep quarter. So the deep quarter is going to help kind of protect us deep to the sideline as well. So the way that I like to cross man this is we're going to take the, the uh, linebacker and we're going to man him up onto the tight end. Then we're going to take the slot, um, and we could do that from here. Either We could use our either linebacker. We're going to then take the safety that is opposite of the bunch, and we're going to man him up onto the slot receiver. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take that hard flat defender, and we're going to man him up onto the circle receiver. And what that's going to do is it's going to help take away, um, it's going to help take away things such as bubble screens and things like that. So as you can see, we've kind of got the right side cross manned. Again, I said that the running back typically is going to be on a streak or he's going to be on a wheel route. And so what I like to suggest to people is you could either A, man up this player onto the running back. And I want to show you what's kind of unique about this. When you man up the safety onto the running back, let's say they run a route combination such as Y trail. Uh, if because they might run this right, let's say they run uh, something like this. Okay, I want you to watch how this plays. Notice that the safety um, is actually when the running back blocks, he ends up becoming a deep half defender. So, what I also like to do is let's say that they are kind of historically, I would in that case have to use her the deep middle of the field, and we'll actually show that. So, in that case, you'll see here. I would have to use her the deep middle of the field. If I didn't use her that, then obviously it would be a touchdown, right? Now, if the running back, um, what's interesting is if the formation was flipped, he'd actually go to the middle of third. Um, but anyways, so shade out, shade underneath. And then what we're going to do here is create, recreate that same uh, cross man system. And then last but not least, you can you kind of have a choice. You can either put this guy in man coverage on the running back if you do that, I don't find any any major, majorly significant reason to do that. Or what you can do is you can inside third him. And what this inside third is going to do is it's going to take away that post from the solo wide receiver. Now, another thing, if you wanted to get really adjusty, you could ban this guy up on the solo wide receiver, put the cloud flat over there, and then take the slot corner and man him up on the running back. That is a crazy uh, kind of cross man sequence. But what I would recommend, honestly, I think safer um, would be to do something like this. And if you think about it, another thing you could do is you could even vert hook this guy just because of the way the routes run this year. Um, you know, the, the flat zones kind of get to the flat a little quicker than we might like against a formation like this. But essentially, this is cross man. This is how you do it. Now, what, what does it actually cover, you might ask? It's going to do a really good job against double corner. And you'll see right here, if they run big corner, little corner, there's really nowhere that they can throw. Um, he would have to beat that man coverage, and he really didn't beat it. Um, the game just kind of let him catch it because the game is the game. But, but yeah, this is, um, this is what I would really recommend. And then the other thing uh, that I wanted to quickly touch on is uh, the wide trail play because if they see that you're running a lot of man coverage, they're probably going to go to this wide trail play. And essentially, it looks like this, okay, typically. So with the middle third defender and the cross manning here, what I would recommend, this is where I like to use the vert hook, but uh, essentially what will happen is your user, when you see the running back going around, you're going to have to kind of go guard it. You're going to cover the running back for just a second, and then you're going to kind of lurk back underneath. And as you can see, have that play pretty handled. Now, the last play that I wanted to cover is Durham because they put the running back on a streak, and a lot of people like to use this to beat uh, some of this cover four uh, style of defense. So what I like to do with this is shade out, shade underneath, same exact cross manning uh, sequence here, and this middle third. Now, uh, the middle third can also be a hook curl. If you want to use a hook curl, you can. You just have to understand that if you put a hook curl there, you as a user defender have to get back for the wide trail post if they run that. But if they don't run that, this is actually a really, really good adjustment because you can just kind of help there. And, you know, you got that hook curl there to kind of take the running back away. So those are some different options. Another thing you can do that I didn't really get into, but I will cover real quick, would be the, the cloud and the cross man onto the solo wide receiver. The purpose of the cross man and the solo wide receiver, honestly, it's... It's okay. 
it's it's fine. You could do that. Um, and then I would vert hook here. And then basically what you would do is you would just use that safety as the man up onto the slot. So it would look like this. This is not a bad way to play defense. Um, I would move these guys down and inside. I think it's uh, very, very helpful for defending a lot of routes this year. This would do a really good job against a lot of things that this formation provides. And it really allows you as a user that to be able to basically take the running back if he goes on a route. So you see right here, I just take the running back. They throw that post right into a cloud. I've got underneath protection with the vert hook and the man up. So cross man is just such a great little adjustment. You don't have to cross man everybody. So if you wanted to, you could literally just take this um, backside safety and man him up on the running back. I don't know why you would do that, but you could. Um, it, you know, another thing you it, uh, could do is and then cross man the slot with this guy. And then you could, you know, standard man up there and do something, do something like this. Perfectly fine. Again, kind of fits with what we're trying to accomplish here. And it just makes, um, it makes it hard. Uh, makes it kind of unpredictable as well. Uh, it helps kind of where the zones get beat, how you create hybrid coverages. But I really like cross man a lot this year. I think it just, there's a lot of things you accomplish with cross man. One of the underrated things you can do with cross man here, and I'll show it against Durham is if I cross man a linebacker this year, when they're underneath of the player, you see right there, see how they play it a lot better? So that's another little very underrated tactic is to cross man your linebackers, which we haven't really done previously, but to cross man your linebackers on slot receivers and cross man your safeties on tight ends. Um, and let me explain why. So like we just showed you how that played Durham really well. It's also going to play this very well. So you'll see here to the right side that cross man linebacker has really good inside leverage. And then the safety has really good or the outside quarter has really good outside leverage. So those are some tips and tricks for cross manning and Madden, a really important way to adjust defensively every single year. If you guys want to learn my entire defense, join the Patreon. It's only $10. It'll get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. Well over 16 different offensive and defensive schemes already in there for you guys. It will really help you take your game to the next level. If you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.